Welcome to this new episode of the Amiga CD32 Review Project. This time around I've been taking a look at six Dizzy titles that were released on a single disc under the name The Big Six. This collection was published by Codemasters and developed by various development houses. It contains the following titles. Dizzy, Prince of the Oak Folk, Crystal Kingdom Dizzy, Fantastic Dizzy, Treasure Island Dizzy, Spellbound Dizzy and Magic Land Dizzy. Dizzy is of course the creation of the brilliant Oliver Twins, Andrew and Philip Oliver, who released the first Dizzy game as a Codemasters budget title in 1987 on the ZX Spectrum, Commodore 64 and Amstrad CPC. This first game, which is in fact not included on this collection, was voted the fifth best ZX Spectrum game of all time in a special issue of Your Sinclair magazine in 2004. So the pedigree of these games is definitely in order. The name Dizzy, by the way, was given to our hero because of his signature moves. Rather than jumping, Dizzy does a somersault, and he often rolls around on the ground as well. Of course he's Dizzy, who wouldn't be? The Oliver Twins, and perhaps especially Dizzy, are very fondly remembered and highly regarded by a whole generation of gamers. Funnily enough, as I'm writing this, there's an event taking place at the Computer Museum in Cambridge, where the Oliver Twins are unveiling a new NES game in the series called Wonderland Dizzy, as well as a book by Chris Wilkins called The Story of the Oliver Twins. For those few of you out there who don't know, Dizzy games are all quite similar in nature. You control this anthropomorphic egg called Dizzy as he goes on adventures, typically involving rescuing his girlfriend Daisy in some fairy tale inspired land. The game sees you running around the world collecting objects to solve rather simple object puzzles. In true adventure game fashion, you need to talk to all the characters you encounter along the way to find out more about the world and about the puzzles you need to solve to progress. Navigating the world is done in pure platforming fashion, with the older games being traditional flip screen platformers. The platforming is not the meat of the games here though, the adventuring is where it's at. I am a Dizzy fan, but I have to admit that picking up the Dizzy games after all these years wasn't all smooth sailing. While I still enjoy the adventure game part, talking to all the characters, solving the simple puzzles, and I like most of the platforming and exploration as well, there are some parts of the platforming that I simply don't enjoy anymore. Those one-hit kills when you land in a puddle, touch some insect and so on and so forth. I would really love to be able to enable an invincible cheat, and then lean back and enjoy myself whilst going through the adventure. Let's take a look at what the magazines back in the day had to say about the Big Six. CD32Gamer gave the Dizzy Collection an 89% score, writing that This is a package I would heartily recommend to anyone. Call me a big old softy if you like, but there's just something about Dizzy. Sound is no more than a few peeps and bleeps. The graphics are colorful, attractive and cartoony, but never rise above the simplistic. What it's got is charm and a simple childlike appeal. When you're in a stressed out mood, you can sit down in front of any of the games on the CD and relax. It won't tax your reactions, it won't even tax your brain. Well, not much, anyway. The gameplay may be nearer 1985 than 1995, but it's good honest fun, and I defy anyone to say otherwise. Amiga Power only wrote a tiny little piece on this publication, but they gave it a 90% score, so they definitely like that Dizzy, just like I do. Taken as a release from 1995, this is in no way an overwhelming package. But taken as what it really is, a collection of classic titles from the late 80s and very early 90s, re-released so that you can enjoy them in your living room on the big screen with a controller in hand, this is a package I highly recommend that you grab if you're a Dizzy fan. I give this collection of games a 4 out of 5 score. <laughs> 